Today, I'm going to show you a problem that's a lot more tricky than it looks. So it goes like this. The other day, I got into my car and I drove over to grandma's house. Now I was so excited to see her that I was going at a speed of 30 miles per hour. So when I got to her house, we talked, we laughed, we ate good food, had some of her awesome cookies, played some bingo, and then unfortunately, it was time for me to go back home. Now I wasn't as enthusiastic of going back home, so I went at a slower speed of 20 miles per hour. So the question is, what was the average speed for this whole entire trip to grandma's house and back? Now I warned you that this problem is a lot more tricky than it seems at first, because I know what you're probably thinking. You're saying, okay, that's easy. Average speed, 30 miles per hour to grandma's house, 20 miles per hour back, divide that by two. So that gives an average speed of 25 miles per hour. Very easy. The only problem with this is the answer is actually incorrect. The average speed is not 25 miles per hour. And you're thinking, what? How can that possibly be? This just makes so much sense. It's so correct. How can it be incorrect? We take our two speeds and then divide it by two to get the average speed. Well, to answer that question, we're going to use this little equation, rate times time equals distance, to see why this logic is not correct. Now, to find the average speed, we're going to need to find the total distance and divide that by the total time. So first, let's focus on the total distance. What is the total distance of this entire trip? Now we're not exactly given a distance, so it's up to us to introduce a distance. So let's say the distance between my place and grandma's house is X miles. Then the total distance would be X miles to grandma's place and X miles back. That's a total of two X miles. So all we have to do now is find the total time. The total time would be the time it takes for me to go from my place to grandma's place and the time it takes from grandma's place to my place. So are we given a time? Well, yes and no. We're not told the time directly, but we can find the time using this equation right here. So if we want to find time, we're going to have to rearrange this a little bit. So we find that time is actually equal to distance divided by the rate. So first, let's find the time it takes to get from my place to grandma's place. So let's call that T1. That would be the distance divided by the rate. The distance we've defined as X and the rate is just 30 miles per hour. Similarly, let's call T2, the time it takes from grandma's place to my place. And that would be the distance, which is still X, divided by the rate, 
This time, it's 20. So then now, we can find the total time. The total time is just these two individual times added together. So we can find the average speed. We have the total distance of 2x, and now we have a total time of x over 30 plus x over 20. And this can be simplified to 2x over x over 12. which is the same as 2x times the reciprocal 12 over x and we see that the x's cancel out and we're left with a final answer of 24 miles per hour not 25. So we saw what the correct answer actually is, and we saw how to get this correct answer, but we still haven't explained why this doesn't work and what we did differently. Now the reason that our first approach doesn't work is because the first approach is assuming that it takes the same amount of time to get to grandma's house and back, but that's not true at all. The only thing that's staying consistent is the distance. We're covering the same distance but we're going at different rates, which means the times are different, so we cannot just add these two rates and divide them by two. Obviously, if we're going faster, it'll take less time. If we're going slower, then it's gonna take more time. But this method is very deceiving because it seems to make so much sense at first, but once we dug a little deeper, we found that it actually does not work so the correct answer is 24 miles per hour, not 25 miles per hour. And with that, I have one final question for you all, very similar to this problem. So this time I was driving to the gym at 40 miles per hour. But when I got to the gym, I realized I forgot my gym bag at home. So I quickly rushed back home driving at 50 miles per hour to get my stuff. So the question is, what is the average speed for the whole trip going to the gym and back? And if you learned anything from all of this right over here, you'll know that the answer is not 45 miles per hour. So let me know what you get.